Hey, it's Creative Chef Shannon here for Cooking and Golf. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an apple upside down cake. I used to do this all the time when I was younger. I used to do it at restaurants and it was so popular. Uh, caramelizing the sugar and the apples, putting the batter on top, simple as that. It's like a different version of a apple tartatan. All right? But instead of using pastry, I'm using a cake batter and it turns out so good. It is something so easy and so simple that you can do it and I'm going to show you how. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, first of all, I'm going to caramelize some sugar. That's so what I'm using is I'm using mascabado sugar, all right, which is unrefined cane sugar and it's got a, such a fantastic flavour. It's so good for doing things like this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to caramelize this first. There is 50 grams of mascabado sugar in there and we're going to caramelize it down. Okay, next up, let's make the cake batter. So what I've got here is I have got 165 grams of unsalted butter, 135 grams of mascabato sugar and all we're going to do is we're going to cream this together. Okay, as you can see, butter and sugar cream together and you've got that beautiful caramel look because I'm using that mascabato sugar. Next I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So what I've got here is I've got one and a half cups of high grade flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, so uh, usually one to one. Alright, so that can go in there now. Alright, so what I'm going to add is I'm going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, this here, this is purely optional. You don't like cinnamon? Don't add it. You don't like nutmeg? You don't need to add it. Okay. Next up, I'm going to add two eggs. Next, I'm going to add one cup of milk. Now, I'm only going to add this a small amount at a time. So I might not need the whole cup. So let's have a look. So there's about three quarters of it in there. Okay, next one I'm going to add, and this is the last ingredient, is 165 grams of stewed apples. Really simple to do. All you really need to do is basically cook down some apples with a little bit of water and then I just use a stick blender to make it into a pulp. And I put a, and I put a small amount of cinnamon in there as well. Okay, so this goes in there. We'll just put that to one side for a second. Now, what we've got here, as you can see, the sugar has started to caramelize. It looks burnt, that's because I'm using the mascabato sugar. Now, I just want to caramelize it slightly so it just sits on the bottom there. So that when I when I cook the cake, it's gonna have this beautiful, beautiful caramelization on the top of it. So we're gonna tip it out, obviously. Called the apples, all right? Um, apple cora, simple to buy, you better get it on maybe on Amazon, something like that. Okay? Um, and all I'm going to do is use a mandolin and thinly slice all the apples which are going to go on, the, on top of the caramel in the pan. Right? Mandolin, um, use it as a guard um, and keep your hands free. Alright? You don't want to take your knuckles off. And all I'm doing is this. And so what I've got. I've got these slices of apple like that, all consistent. Okay, so let's just do this. Do all these apples now. The pan is hot. Right here. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. And all we're going to do is we're going to lay the apples. In the pan, just 
with this. There you go, done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the cake batter on top and into a preheated oven which I've heated to 180 degrees centigrade or that would be around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Also the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of oil, a little bit of rice bran oil and just brush it around the sides of the, even though it's a non-stick pan, a secular non-stick pan. Um, it's still going to come with the cake batter inside. Okay. Just like that. Now, you don't need to use a pan. You can actually use a cake tin. Um, but I prefer to use a pan because I want that caramelization of that sugar on the bottom. Alright. In goes the cake batter. Okay, in the oven we go. Okay, here we go. We are done. Like that. Now, what I need to do is, while it's still warm, I actually need to tip it out onto this board. So, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if this comes out of the board. I've done this for ages. Uh, a little bit, a little bit stuck on the bottom, but hey, that is pretty good. Now, portion it. Let's plate it up. All right, I've chosen my blue plate. Looking really good. And also, what I've got, I've got a little bit, a little bit of apple here. So it's stewed apple, so it's put a little bit on the bottom here. Do a nice quenelle. Put a little bit of mint from the garden. Here you go, my apple and mascarado sugar, upside down pan. Alright, there you have it, my apple and mascarado sugar upside down cake. Well, apple upside down cake, as I said in the beginning. It's so easy, you can do it, um, you can do it at home. You don't need to use a pan, you don't need to caramelise the sugar, you don't need to add cinnamon, you don't need to add nutmeg. You might have your own spice that you want to add. But it's there if you want to do it. Um, you can put it in a baking tin. Um, you can put it in a pan if you like. Um, it's entirely up to you. But I've given you an idea and it's something you can do at home. Have made this for a very long time but used to do it when I was younger. And so I'm really pleased with the outcome. And I never did a trial run. This I just winged it straight away. So there's no, there was no trial run before I made this video. And so yeah, it's just all done from memory. All right. So I don't know about you, but I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the mascarpone sugar. You can really taste the caramelization that was in the beginning of the bottom of the pan. 
Um, you should be able to find Mescovado sugar at your local whole food store or your local grocery store. It's not a hard thing to find. And it's got such a beautiful, rich flavor. Almost like a molasses flavor. And so, there you go. Now, why don't you go and give it a go? And let me know how you get on. Alright, and also, don't forget, you can subscribe down the bottom there, or hit the like button, because it really helps. Okay, so this is Creative Chef Shannon from Cooking and Golf, and I'm out.